YouTube and welcome to my channel. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, continue the design of um, the, the very simple model that we developed from the last uh, tutorial and we were going to study the uh, forces that we can calculate with eddy current uh, simulations. As you remember, we had a design in 2D design, uh, something like that, and we did calculate some uh, forces and we, we realized that, well, we can pretty much get the force value with two different methods. And, you know, we were very happy about that and that's, that's where we at at this time. So now what I'm going to do here is going to, as promised, uh, create a new design uh, in which we are going to have a 3D version of the 2D design that we had. So let's go ahead and start the design of the 3D uh, the problem and um, we go and do the uh, boundary conditions and excitations uh, once again uh, in two different tutorial videos. Um, just to uh, give you a heads up, we had uh, in the 2D simulation view, we had the region and we had two uh, bars, um, which were basically the bar for uh, boss bars and we were like looking at the effect of them and the forces that one will apply to the other. Okay, so now go and create the 3D uh, design and in the 3D design, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and make sure that the Maxwell 3D, the solution type is eddy current. So just click click on that. So once again, I went to the Maxwell 3D and then solution type. And now let's go and create our uh, region this time. And this time we are going to have a box. So I'm going to put minus 150 millimeters, minus 150 millimeters and see, and sorry, actually, uh, because we have Z, uh, we have minus 150 millimeters for Z as well, but uh, the X is going to be zero because we are going to have our design in the X. So let's let's say that the X is zero, and then for the DX, DY, DZ, I'm gonna have a dip of 10 millimeters for my X directions, and then regular uh, 300 millimeters by 300 millimeters for Y and Z directions. So uh, in that way, we can apply our excitations and everything on the x plane. I mean, on a y x, um, on I'm sorry, on a y z plane, and do everything that you want to do. So let's just start uh, doing that. I, I create the box, and you know what? A box is not a very good name for that. Let's call it region, as we did it for the other one. And um, now that we are there, let's go and create our uh, uh, bosses. Um, so control D would basically give you the the view for that and I have a feeling that I've done something wrong because it doesn't add up very well so I think I put a positive value for one of the I think for Z I put a positive 150 um, well actually I've done a very bad job so let's uh, do it again so zero minus 150 uh, don't be surprised what I'm doing this is the same uh, dimensions that I used to give from the bottom right so you can actually go to the property of the box and apply it right there so and now I have to get the right box in the middle of the screen okay control D to uh, basically zoom in into the uh, to the center and now we are going to create our um, excitations I mean, sorry, the, the bus. So I'm going to go and switch the view to a better view so we can actually take a look at that. And uh, again, I'm going to go create a box. And this time I'm going to be more careful when I'm entering the numbers. Um, that's going to be 0 for x, minus 12 for y, and minus 2 for the z. And I'm going to press enter on that. And then for the dx, I'm going to have 10. And for dy, I'm going to have 4. And for DZ, I'm going to have 4 again, okay? So that will uh, create our left uh, 
basically boss bar and here I'm gonna select copper if you don't see copper here go select edit and then search for copper and you will be able to find it and uh, I actually can change the color if you want you can do that and uh, that's good okay uh, let's do another uh, let's create another uh, uh, basically boss bar and this this time is going to be the right boss bar so as you guess the X is the same zero but the Y is going to be 8 and the Z is going to be minus um, 2 and I'm pressing enter to get into the DX DY and DZ and the extension for DX is going to be 10 millimeters for DY is 4 millimeters and for DZ is again 4 millimeters and the box 1 has to be changed to right and uh, the material is going to be copper uh, once again uh, the property window is popping up after any each command and the reason that is doing that is because I went to the setting and I said when I finish with an, any comment uh, commands please oh please open the property box after that so I can do the changes right away changes like that like changing the name materials or you know changing the the numbers okay uh, press ok on that and now we have left and then we have right so these are the two uh, basically boss bars that we have okay and this basically concludes our very simple creation of the 3D design of uh, the effect for the bus, bus bar. Uh, so let's see uh, how we can do the excitation and the boundary conditions and also, you know, analysis. Uh, see you in the next uh, video.